All right, welcome back. In this particular project, we're going to build an end-to-end -end machine learning project and then deploy it live in our web browser using what is called a Flask, okay? After this project, we'll be able to predict live in our web browser um, the Zomato restaurant ratings, right? So we're going to use what is called a Flask to deploy our model. We're going to start right from the scratch, um, doing the, all this priority data analysis and then build our model. After that, we're going to deploy it live um, which in Flask in our, in, our, in our web browser, and then we'll be able to do a live prediction, right? A live prediction of the various Zomato restaurant ratings, okay? So let's see a quick demo of it, of what we are going to build at the end of the project. All right, so over here, as you can see, we have, um, if I zoom in a little bit for you, you see that we have order, order online, what, that is whether the restaurant is actually offer um, online order, allowing people to order online, and then, um, we have book table. We're going to go through all these these features one by one when we go to um, the notebook and we are building this, right? So we're going to go through through all this. So you can see we have vote, we have location, we have restaurant, we have cuisines, we have cost, we have menu. So all of these are some of the features that we're going to base on, and then um, make a live prediction of, of of the ratings that the particular restaurants will be having. So. If this, um, let's say you're a restaurant owner, you want to see the rating of, of, of your restaurant right, based on these features. So if you come here and then you you, you, you input, that is, if you offer online um, order, you put one there. If you don't offer online order, you put zero there, right? So in this case, let's assume we offer online order. So we put one there and then um, whether we do book table, right? If you, book, if you do book table, you use one right you input one if you don't do you put you input zero okay so in this case let's say we we do so we input one over there and then the votes right the vote that um our customers have, have voted so over here let's say we have around um 565 and then the location right so if we encoded this you you will see it um, when we go to jupyter notebook right so you're going to see this how we did this one now if we put this one here and then the restaurant type so we have several restaurant types that we can give you can type you can give your own restaurant type over here so let's say 56 right and then maybe the cousin um we can we can just type it um i'm just giving any random values here maybe the cost maybe you give like 2300 right something like that maybe that's the cost of your of your of your dish over there and then the menu type we've also encoded this i'll show you how we, we are going to do this okay so i'm just giving some random um numbers over there now if we click on predict let's see now you see that we have your rating is 4.2 over there right so we can do this live for all the restaurants that zomato is connected to right so we can see all the ratings of all these um restaurants all right so this is quite an interesting project and i'm going to walk you through step by step how we're going to build this right from the scratch right right from um loading the data all the way till we we, we get to this stage okay so um let's get started